Hello, my lovely crafters. This is Crafty Sue 519, and welcome to my Saturday mishmash. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, I would really like it if you hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 300 people. I'm getting there, slow but sure. Anyhow, what do I have for you today? I have a little, and I mean a little, Tuesday morning haul. And I got in the mail a Christmas card set that I purchased from Gina K. I'll show you that. And I'll show you some Christmas cards that I've been making. So first off, the Tuesday morning haul. In clearance, they had straws paper straws and I like them. I got the gold and white and the black and white. I've never done anything with straws before but I keep seeing stuff done so I may just give it a try one of these days. And then in clearance as well they had pretty tissue papers so I bought those so I can wrap things up to send to people. And then I've got two Stamp um, paper pads, and this one is from 49 Market, and it's Seaside. And I saw Crafty Bean get this the other day, and I really like it. And it just reminds me of home in Rhode Island, so I got it. And these are little. Uh, die cuts that you can just pop out. So these, aren't they pretty? I love the lighthouse, that's a big deal back home. And then these papers are just so pretty and I'll go really quick. But I thought they would be perfect for backgrounds on cards. Look at the colors. I love it, look at this, love that. Make a great die card. So with this, Reminds me of Rhode Island. Had to get it. Had to get it. But I like it because some of it will be, like I said, pretty backgrounds for cards. And some of it will make great masculine cards. How pretty this is. I'm going to rush because I've got stuff to show you. Isn't that pretty with the treasure chest? Love it. Oh, the beaches. Can you believe I live in Florida and I haven't been able to go to the beach in over eight months? Ugh. And then it repeats, so I'm not going to go through the same ones again. That was one paper pad I was able to get. Very pretty, I like it. And that's really thick paper. Very thick paper. And then this is another one from 49 Market, I think. Tina from Crafty Bean might have gotten this one too. And again, I thought of backgrounds. I saw some of this. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, I love it. I love it. Aren't they beautiful? I love that in the corner. This is almost as pretty as Prima. Oh, did I say that? I can't say that. pretty is that? Oh, that would make a nice slim line card. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I guess I got it the wrong way. Another one that would make a nice slim line card, wouldn't it? What were these wood? Cute. Very pretty. Oh, that's pretty. I love the colors. Sorry if my lighting is not very good right now. It's uh, getting dark out and I had to turn the overhead light on and it kind of messes me up. <clears throat> Here's a cute cut of pops. Pretty these are. Ooh. Love it, and now, now it repeats. Not pretty. Purple. 
Tammy. <laughs> so, those are two I got for myself. And then my daughter-in-law doesn't do a lot of crafting, but she likes to make birthday cards. So I did find these paper pads. It's a celebration. And it had the 12 by 12 birthday candles. Little bright colors for birthdays. Banners. Single sided, which is fine. And then they had the six by six. Same paper. I think she'll like that. So I'll go put that away and stop my Christmas presents. I put this black paper here so things wouldn't be so shiny. Okay, now I bought a Christmas stamp set from Gina K. When I was just doing cards, I used to buy lots of stuff from Gina. I Actually, I own all of her inks, all of her paper, solid papers. I'm not crazy about her um, uh, printed papers, but this is just uh, little extras that I ordered. This was not part of the kit. This is a white pigment ink because there's a technique I want to try that I haven't had a chance to yet. And these are Electro Pop inks. These are neon inks, and I got the yellow and the blue. I already have the hot pink, orange, and lime green. They're a lot of fun to work with. And this is what's in the kit. Lots of stuff, but I will show you. She sent paper. And her paper is really good quality. I already used up one of the reds, so it's gone. And we have this asparagus green color. It's really pretty. What color is this? Turquoise C. Yeah, pretty. And a craft. So those are the papers that came in the kit. Then it came with this set of <clears throat> uh, tag dies which is awesome because I don't have any, and more snowflakes, which I don't need, but it doesn't hurt to have more. There's three snowflakes in here. I'm not gonna pull everything out because it'll take too much time. This beautiful stencil came with it. And then you got three stamp sets, three. This is a snowflakey one, isn't that pretty? And this one I love, I love, love, love. This is what made me buy it. I saw Jennifer McGuire doing a different technique with this particular stamp, and I need to try that. <laughs> and that's why I ended up buying the kit. This was not cheap, and they sold out. Um, it was a lot of money. I forgot how much money these stamp kits can be, so that was the second stamp kit and then this is the third one which I love too and it leaves the space in between each picture to put a sentiment and these different sentiments would fit in there you could either stamp them in there or you'll see what I did with with it because I made one already isn't that nice and because I spent so much money they sent me a free little stamp kit stamp set and it's hot cocoa and a sweater and a couple little sentiments in that cute so this was a freebie I love her stuff I, I always have and I've kind of gotten away from it and this is what I started doing and I've really enjoyed this week getting back to card making and I made some cards let me show you so, using this stamp kit, and mainly this stamp, I made three cards. I made this green and gold card. Everything is embossed with gold embossing powder. That's pretty. And then a little 
decoration I made at the bottom. So this is a regular A2 size card. So green's my favorite color. I had to make one in green. And then I made a slimline card in navy blue and silver, which is one of my favorite combinations. And on the inside, I put the stripe. And this is on silver mirrored cardstock. And then I made a red and gold one. Someone said this looks like a kimono. And I looked at it and I said, yeah, it really does have an Asian feel to it. So my friend Dorothy and her husband are Asian. And this is gonna be their Christmas card this year. And I know they'll crack up. Same thing on the inside. Just a strip of the gold with some red. Put a little sequins on here. Cause you can't have enough bling, right? So those are the three cards I made from this kit. And then I made one card using this one with the snowflake. And it is definitely clean and simple, but I love it. And this is the card I made. And it's supposed to be like a Christmas ornament. Isn't that pretty? I love this. Simpler the better for me. I didn't put anything inside yet because I don't know what I want to do yet. And this was the last card I made. All of them have my little sticker on the back. I have a ton. This is glitter embossing powder. Can you see the glitter in that? There, there was a little shop here and she did all kinds of embossing powders and glitters and, and stuff. And when she was shutting down because she was retiring, I went in and bought a bunch of tape and stuff from her because I loved her tape. And I bought this whole roll. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see this, but there are 11 bottles of glittered embossing powder in here. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So guess what? I'm going to be making some glittered Christmas cards. Then, I don't remember if it was last week or the week before, I showed you this um, die that I got from Spellbinders Sale, and I made two cards from that. And this is one with the navy blue and silver. I wasn't sure if I would like this because there's lots of little pieces you have to do, but it's really quite easy and I like it a lot. And this might be a little untraditional traditional <laughs> with black, but I think it looks really pretty. I love this card. I, I really like this. I have been having a blast making cards this week. Back to my roots. Back to my roots. And that's it. That's all I have for you. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day and a fantastic Sunday, and we'll talk again soon. Love yous. Bye.